Telling us a little bit about the Syria food drive? Sure. Um, together with the student council and the Syrian community, we are inviting our whole school and families to join us in the food and clothes drive to help the children and the women of uh, Syria. As you may know, Syria has been in a civil war for about five years now, and it's affecting a lot of the children that are coming to the United States as refugees as well. So we are asking you for your donations. For We are working with the UNICEF that is helping children. So we are fundraising um, online fundraising. If you would like to donate, we're going to give you the information at the unicef.org. So we're asking everybody to volunteer. And we're going to be collecting the clothes and dries for the month of December and January. So mm -hmm. you are free. And we're going to give you, the students, a husky pub. If you donate some clothes or some food, etc., just come to see us. And we're going to have a lot of boxes around the school. All right, thank you. No problem. So <laughs> I invite you to join us in this campaign to help our children from Syria. Thank you. Oh, hey, how's it going? How you Hi, doing? Mr. Edge. How you doing, Mr. Kev? Awesome. I haven't seen you in a while, man. How's you doing over there? It's been so sad. I miss you so much. I know. I miss you too. <laughs> great teacher. Great teacher. But you know what's coming up, your favorite time of year. Oh golly, science fair. Yes sir, science fair every year for every student. There are many, many students in tears right now. They can't even sleep at night, they're so excited. Yeah, I know. Make sure you guys go get your poster boards. I, I believe they'll be on sale next week. And they're on sale now, four dollars. <laughs> so seniors, juniors, and sophomores, get on the ball, man. We have to get on board. You guys are falling behind. <laughs> and cities and states. Cities and states, yeah. So what should be happening right now is you should have your hypothesis, your material, your methods, your analysis, and your conclusion. Ideally, you've taken a picture of you doing your experiment so you can prove that you actually like, did it. Um, and that way, over Christmas break, you can put everything on your board because science fair is in January. January, do you know the exact day? I think it's the 26th this year. And we're having it at the church, right? Yeah, we're having it over on Gainsborough Street at the St. Stephen's Cathedral. Right. So, Hello, my name is Martin Sheen, a junior at the Fenwood side. I'm here with Mr. Hera, the Fenwood guidance counselor, to talk about the science education program. Please tell us about it. Sure, so um, all the students in the ninth grade have started taking sexuality education through Ms. Katerian's classes. Yes. Uh, all the tenth graders receive it last year in the same class. And students should really be aware of the fact that also both campuses have what we call the CAT team or condom availability team. Students can access um, condoms and information about uh, uh, family planning with uh, staff members that have been asked to be part of this team. That means it's confidential information, so it's only speaking to that uh, staff member. In the Fenwood campus, it is Mr. Rawlinson, our nurse Remy, Ms. Gatirian, and myself. In the Fenway campus is uh, Nurse Turgeson, Ms. Brewster, Mr. Warren, and Mr. Ford. So I think it's good information for students to have. Well, thank you, Mr. Harrow. Well, Mr. Harrow, how do I access these guys? So if a student is interested, um, they need to get an application. In the Fenway side, they can see Ms. Brewster. Yes. In the Fenwood side, students can come to my office as well. Students will need to have their parent or guardian sign uh, if they're under the age of 18. We'll need some insurance information and we provide the information to the Boston Institute for Psychotherapy. The person will be here uh, splitting the time between both campuses, but like I said, they're here full time and it's a great, great service that all students can access. We really hope that students do it. Oh, I like it a lot. Well, I want to say thank you, Ms. O'Hara. This You're is welcome. absolutely amazing. Thank you. Jubilee's coming up. What do you know about yes. that? I know that the theme of Jubilee is Nightmare Before Winter Break. It's gonna be really, really fun. We have all these amazing acts, and um, I'm excited. Do you so, know who's hosting? There's Camilla, there's Cameron, there's Janice, and somebody else whose name I can't remember at the moment. Oh, is that me? Oh, I think I'm hosting. I mean, I host a lot. I'm really? pretty good at it. I hadn't heard that. Really? No. Well, I'm here to let you know that I am also hosting Jubilee. Right. All right, now let's get into our Husky House. We're gonna start out with Chris Yanes, Elaine German, and Jimmy Wen for consistently completing their work and having great Husky prides in all things they do. Also from Ms. Woodham is a shout out to Ashley Montgomery for being a true student athlete. 
Well, we got one more that wasn't by a teacher. It was by everyone in the whole school. We're going to give a huge Husky Howard to Augustine Uber for getting in the buck now and getting in for free through Posse. Sadly, we're coming to a conclusion of another session of EMK TV, but on the bright side, we are going into winter break. So everybody have a safe holiday season, eat a lot of food, get a lot of presents, and just spread love to everybody. And remember y'all, let's dream, grow, and excel.